Yo, what's up, guys? It's Sibri Man. Today it is the week three development blog for, I think I'm gonna call it Earth's Edge, you know. And uh, yeah, um, we got rid of the trees last time, and I thought may as well take the the foresty bits out so I can actually make a foresty map, like a whole terrain for it, instead of just adding it a bit in here and make that like fully immersive and everything and. You know what I mean? And these are speed tree trees. The only, you know, they look beautiful and stuff. You know, the detail on them is great. But the only issue was I wasn't able to customize them because the UE4 version of it is, um, I think you have to pay. Uh, or I couldn't find out I had to pay for them, uh, for it. Uh, and so two of the big changes is I've made this house. I'm going to add a roof to it. Don't worry if you're getting triggered. So, um, uh, you know, here's some stairs. That's just uh, go into play mode. Oh, yeah first person as well. I added uh, the camera onto the player's head so that's why there's a bit of a bub bubble. Make it a bit more realistic and look at this. So what, I'm uh, what the thing is is that it looks normal in the outside but it's like a secret flat earth layer in there. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about maybe you should watch the first episode of the second. I also explain the concept in a different episode but I'm happy you're here. And you can give your ideas down below or join my Discord group or whatever. Hit me up on Twitter or something. And uh, here's the next part. The scary cave. But anyway, uh, yeah, the whole point of that is uh, that the person is supposed to have like stolen something from NASA or something. Like money or supplies or something. And they've set up this base but basically got too poor to actually, <laughs> actually get a computer to use it. Uh, use the, the data cabling and all that with. So uh, that's another thing. And one other, other thing is, you know how I wanted, uh, basically what I want to do is have uh, this cave, um, have like a chase scene in this cave. But the issue is, if you didn't know, this cave is basically, if you, you'll see it in a past episode, but it's very, um, it's pretty much, it's like that deep. So it just looks like that. Uh, so what I did was I put a cube in there. It's, this black bit is literally just a cube. It looks like it's just dark, but it's literally just a cube of black uh, that's coloured black. So what I'm going, what I've done is, is I've put, uh, I've coded it so that if this character walks into that, he gets teleported to a certain location that I can set. So let me just show you right now. Ooh, and here's some birds. I added some birds just to, just to mess about. Uh, but anyway. Uh, that's what that does and what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a specific cave and uh, have the character running about uh, inside the case, uh, cave and have a, a bit of a chase scene in there. Uh, I'm going to 3D model like a zoo bat and call it like a new bat or a poo bat or whatever. Oh crud, well now I've got a, got another thing to do I just realised because I put this on the grass foliage thing it doesn't have any collision and you can't set the collision either so now I'm going to, to have to remove that and um, add it in as a an actual mesh uh, that's perfect isn't it uh, but yeah you know when I went through the uh, thing um, the uh, cave it also set off this particle effect for the bird as well so uh, the whole point of this uh, game like the whole concept is uh, kind of revolves around, um, you know, the fact that, um, you know, you're setting triggers off and that aspect to it. Uh, uh, so that is perfect that I've finally learned how to do that because, you know, there's only a few other things that I need to know to go through with that. And uh, also, do you like the uh, whole uh, night and day cycle? I just think it's uh, kind of cool and stuff. And uh, yeah. Just a quick update. I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, I feel like I've done bits this uh, this week. I kind of got used to uh, work, and uh, obviously, I left my other job that was on the weekend. So uh, I uh, I've at least got some spare time over the weekend instead of uh, working forty hours in the week and then having like one or two four hour shifts in the weekend. It's just a million times easier. Ooh, parkour. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, I, I like to make, I probably like to make them short and concise like this and just energetic. Ooh, look at this. Ooh. But anyways, 
uh, I will see you in the next one. Make sure you subscribe if you like it. Hit me up with some ideas if you do. Share it with your mates. You know, I want to get the word out as much as possible. So, you know, it's hard to do something like this solo and without any support or coverage because, you know, you can make the best game in the world if nobody buys it. It's kind of like pointless, isn't it? But, um, well, it's not pointless because I'll enjoy it, but I want to make a product that I can, you know, sell and make it so that I can live off doing this because I really enjoy it. But anyway, hopefully uh, you guys stick around. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed it, leave a like and subscribe uh, for more. What I'm probably going to do is uh, change this uh, mesh uh, into, just replace the mesh with whatever. Uh, what else? Uh, hmm. uh, oh yeah, make that cave system do a few other bits. I've got to make like a an actual um, 3D model for the bloody um, persons and that's all by it. Uh, that's always an option. That's going to be a bit annoying but yeah I'm not going to do my outro again a millionth time but uh, yeah see you guys later.